All right. See you guys on YouTube. We're going to talk our shoes, our new collection. We're going to talk a little bit about who designed this collection. It's a pretty interesting story. First time ever, our customers completely designed this collection that we have launching on craft.acemarks.com right now. And yeah, I'd love to talk to you guys about it. See you guys there. Remember, YouTube Live. Hey guys, sorry, I was just there on Instagram, letting everybody know that we're going live here on YouTube. And we have an email that just went out that's letting people know that we're here and letting people know that our collection is going live right now, our new factory access collection, which you see behind me right now. We're here to talk a little bit about these new shoe styles, who designed them, and that's a really interesting story, which I wanted to get to and talk a little bit about the materials. We have a lot of new boots. We have a lot of interesting, uh, interesting things that we did differently in this with this collection, something we're not really uh, used to doing or something we haven't done in the past. So, yeah, so looking forward to... Uh, to talking with you guys. Thank you guys. I see more more people are coming in. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes, just wait to, for the email to, to go out that we're sending out right now, letting everybody know. Got everybody uh, in here at once so we can talk a little bit about our new collection and what we're launching right now on craft.acemarks.com. I know we we're supposed to launch a little bit earlier today, but we kind of decided last minute to add a few things uh, which we weren't planning on doing before, and it caused a little bit of a delay, but gives you guys more options, more shoes to choose from. Uh, a few things that we actually haven't had available in over two years are going to be available right now on craft.acemarks.com. Uh, we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about anything you guys wanted to talk about. If you want to see some of our new shoes close up, if you want to see some of the colors, some of the new outsoles that we're uh, using, although actually, I shouldn't say they're really new. We, uh, we had a few shoes on our, on our natural outsoles in our last factory access campaign. Uh, but now we have a few more options. We put it on some of our boots. We're releasing two, we're releasing two, uh, two, two boots, two boot styles that we've never had before, which is our Bal Morale and our Jodhpur boots. Uh, and that was, you know, designed by you guys as well. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. We're going to get into it as soon as we can. Uh, David, uh, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that you like the, uh, the white sneakers. Yeah, we, we actually, I'm not sure if you bought your white sneakers um, in our website on our acemarks.com. But if you go right now to craft.acemarks.com, you're going to see some new color releases over there. Um, and that's one of the things that we're going to be talking about. So, yeah, we actually release a ton of new sneakers every single year, uh, especially during these factory access campaigns, David. So, yes, we have a lot of colors. And actually, what's pretty cool about the sneakers that we have uh, during our factory access campaign, there are a lot of the same ones that we had in our in our campaign back in uh, February, March of this past year. Um, and what's pretty special about them that we hadn't had before is the leather that we're using, the material that we're using. Uh, we used what we call a glove leather. So it's an extremely soft sneaker. Uh, it's even softer than the sneakers that, that we've had in the past. So it's a pretty, uh, pretty nice thing. It's a nice feel to it. Super flexible, very comfortable, makes it a little bit lighter. Um, obviously, always on Margam outsoles uh, with stitched uh, with stitched uppers. We stitch the uh, the outsoles to the uppers, all the same quality that they come to expect from us, and that you see in the white sneakers that you bought from us, David. But just a little bit of a softer uh, leather. It's a pretty nice, luxurious feeling leather. So yeah, absolutely, we have a lot of different colors and sneakers. So check it out. I'm going to put over here the link 
uh, to our craft that acemarks.com site so you guys can check it out and that's pretty much what we're going to be talking about here uh, on this live stream we're going to be talking about all the new shoes that we have on there we're going to talk about how this collection came about uh, who designed this collection again this is a pretty interesting and unique situation where our customers designed everything say almost everything that we're releasing right now that we're releasing today. And if you guys, any of you guys had joined our happy hours that we held for almost three months straight on Fridays between say March and June of, of this year, uh, one of those happy hours turned into an impromptu design session where we designed this collection that, that you see behind me and that you see on craft.acemarks.com. So pretty, pretty interesting and something that we hadn't done before. Uh, those of you that were there that night, uh, there are, I think, maybe 15, 20 people, uh, 20 customers that were designing this with me. Um, and you'll see pretty much, I shouldn't say pretty much everything that we all decided together as a group to, to launch and to turn into reality, uh, we did. And a lot of that is behind me. And, Soon, as soon as we uh, those emails continue to go out, we're going to start uh, going through some of them. So if you come in, uh, be a little bit patient. I'd like to, to see a few more people get into the live stream. If you guys have any questions, of course, as, as they come to mind, feel free to ask them. And again, we typically launch, launch these campaigns earlier in the day, uh, but we added uh, I'll go go through exactly what we added today, kind of last minute. Again, it's something that we hadn't made available in almost two years, and and we decided this morning, uh, just kind of last minute, to, to make it available to you guys. And it's a shoe that I'm wearing right now. It's it's my favorite uh, go-to dress shoe. Uh, it's you know obviously we've made a lot of shoes, and I built my my Ace Marks collection over the last few years since I founded it back in 2016. But these are the ones that I go to the most. And in a second over here. guys thank you for joining uh give us a second we're going to start and we're going to talk about the collection uh that we have right now behind me and up on craft at acemarks.com hey guys thanks for coming in any questions that you have feel free to ask i don't know if you got a chance to take a look at the new shoes that we're releasing yet but they're mostly behind me on craft.acemarks.com as well. And we're going to be talking about them. We're going to be talking about the materials, the styles, the colors, and also, as I've mentioned a few times just now, how exactly we designed this collection. Uh, Clayton. Yeah, the latte color is, is super cool, and, and we tried it now for the first time in, in our last factory access, and it was pretty well received, so we made some, some more shoes with it. And yeah, you can definitely wear it with all different shades of, of brown, uh, with khakis uh, possibly as well. Um, in our photo gallery on craft.acemarks.com, craft you'll see a couple instances uh, where, how, of how we how we paired our model with those shoes, and we're actually in the process of creating a bigger photo gallery so you can see some more more options on how to wear the latte color. The only thing I probably wouldn't wear those shoes with are are black, I'd say. Um, probably too much a, of a contrast, but anything on the brown tones, possibly even a, a darker gray would look good with that. Um, 
you know, I was actually myself surprised of how versatile that latte color can be when we had our stylist with us. I don't know if you guys saw the, the Instagram live that we did with her while we were doing the photo shoot a few weeks ago. Um, but she really was able to pair those really nicely. Um, I think she even put on a pair of dark, dark jeans with, uh, on our model and those latte shoes. And it was really beautiful. So it's probably a little bit scary to, to pull the trigger on a shoe like that, Clayton, at first. But um, yeah, it's, it's surprisingly a versatile color and it's something pretty unique that no one has. Uh, so it's something definitely worth giving a shot. Is there a particular one that you want to take a closer look at? I'm happy to bring it over so we can talk about it a little bit more. Actually, let me bring one over. It's actually one of my, fa my favorite colors right now. That and the Arancho, which I'll bring over as well. So, Clayton, I'll, I'll be a little bit more specific with you. Even I'll go through our, our latte collection, our latte options from this collection. So we we did the latte in a chukka boot with a natural color outsole. Uh, this in particular, for sure, you can wear with a pair of jeans if you wanted to go that casual. Uh, same thing, I think, with a pair of khakis or chinos uh, would look great as well. Um, I would definitely keep this color casual. The natural color outsole definitely lends itself to being a more casual, a casual shoe. We also did the latte in a Franco. And the Franco is a style that we released back in 2018. Uh, we haven't had it since, but we did it now. A lot of you guys, when we're designing this collection, uh, have a few pairs of the Francos, and we always did it back in the day. Well, the one time that we released in 2018, we did it in some unique colors. Um, color combinations, a really bold shoe. Uh, so we decided to bring it back. And here it is in a latte with a brown suede on top. This again is also something more casual, but it's something that if you, you know, like a, maybe a business casual situation. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you, you threw me off guard there, gamer. But a uh, but good comment there. I appreciate that. Uh, this is something a little bit more casual. And, and, and ladies in general would be attracted to a nice pair of shoes. So just about anything here attracts anything that you want. It all, it all matters on, on uh, what it all depends on is your, your sense of style, your confidence, and, and how you wear it. So whatever you want to attract, you can attract, no matter what you're wearing. It's up to you at the end of the day. But this is something, again, something a little bit more business casual over here. Uh, same thing with... With these, all this I'd say you can probably even pair with a with a gray suit, um, possibly even a navy suit. Thank you, Adrian. Uh, appreciate appreciate all the uh, all the support, Adrian. I know you've been with us for for years at this point. Uh, you're always uh, out there on social media. So this is another latte latte with a brown, uh, with some heavy burnishing on the toe. Pardon the scratches. This was a little bit used up by by our model. But this also a little bit more business casual, although I think our, our model paired it with a pair of jeans and, and looked surprisingly good. I didn't expect that. Our stylist really does a good job of putting together un unexpected outfits with a lot of these shoes. Uh, this is a Gianni, our Belgian loafer. Same thing in the latte with a brown combination. Uh, this is something even, I'd say, a pair of shorts, no socks, and a, and a nice white, a nice white, uh, a nice white button down shirt. Something nice and flowy. Looks great. Yagpur boots. Uh, these, this is the first time we do a Yagpur boot. We did it in all super interesting colors. I'll show them to you guys uh, shortly. But this also, man, this, this also was paired with a pair of jeans. Looked amazing. And last but not least, we also did it in a Balmoral. <laughs> um, 
And uh, the Balmorales also, you'll see this uh, for sure in our gallery on craft.acemarks.com. Really nice. We did our natural outsole also to keep it a little bit more casual, not too stuffy. Uh, jeans, um, khakis, any, anything, really almost anything. Uh, I don't know if I'd pair this with like a formal suit, but any casual outfit, this would look good with. Gives it a little bit of pop, a little bit of contrast. All right, let me let me get back here to uh, to all the comments. Uh, Clayton, I've got a bourbon and blue nickel among others for me. That were the wildest shoes I tried today. I haven't gone wrong. Yeah, and Clayton also. Honestly, my favorites um, are these. And this you can wear with just about anything. Anything that you could wear brown with, uh, you can wear this with. And these are super awesome. I don't know if it comes across so much on the screen, but in person, when I unpack these from uh, from the factory, these ones made me say, wow, these are awesome. Let's definitely give those a shot. Ryan, yeah, uh, <laughs> thank you, man. Um, the Goodyear welted shoes, I know somebody, I saw on Facebook today, somebody posted some of them in one of the, the groups. Uh, they really loved them. Honestly, they came out gorgeous. Uh, I don't want to say more beautiful than usual, but definitely as beautiful, if not more beautiful than usual. So they're really, really nice. You're going to be pleasantly surprised with those, uh, with the Goodyear welted shoes, our signature collection. Herb, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Rafael, how are you? It's been a while. I hope to see you during the happy hour uh, on Friday. Yeah, by the way, guys, we're going to be doing another happy hour. It's starting this Friday. We'll probably do it. I'm not sure if we'll do it weekly or not, but we'll do a few probably over the next uh, month or two. Um, how do the suede Jagpur look? The suede Jagpurs look like this. And what we did a lot with this collection, uh, my goal was to take a lot of the classic styles and kind of make them wearable with more casual styles. You know, obviously right now the world of dress is uh, has a little come a little bit to a standstill. So people are dressing a lot more casual at the moment. And I tried to bring this collection. Actually, we all did this together again. This was designed by you guys. Uh, but we all kind of have an, had an eye for something a little bit more bold and a little bit more casual as we we're designing this collection in quarantine over Zoom with about 15 or 20 of you guys. Uh, Rafael, I, I believe you were there. Um, so this is this is suede. This is the suede one, Ryan. Uh, Raphael, yeah, actually, Raphael, not only uh, are your color suggestions here, uh, everyone's that we uh, did this together with that day, they're all here. <laughs> so we really, you know, I didn't really change anything at the end, whatever you guys decided on, that's what we made. I added a couple styles afterwards, but I didn't change anything that we made that day, Raphael. So we'll talk a little, we'll talk about a little bit more uh, tomorrow as well. Uh, Gamer, yeah, actually. Uh, this this is Shrek's boot. This is directly from DreamWorks. We collaborated with George Lucas uh, to make these boots. And actually, Donkey's coming out with his own uh, pair of boots uh, probably next month. We have a collaboration with him as well and a few other Disney characters coming out. By the way, that's a joke just to, to come back here on Gamer. Uh, what's up with the gray and burgundy boots? Let me bring those out. So these are, Adrian, these are our Balmorales. Uh, at least on my video, this burgundy is not coming out as well, our Diablo color. But I don't know if you guys have noticed, those of you that have been buying shoes from us for a few years now, over the last year or so, our shoes have gotten much softer, and these boots are no exception. So these are, I'd say, buttery soft boots, which is hard to kind of show in pictures. But these are super nice, super soft. Uh, these are going to be super comfortable to wear. Uh, really, really nice boots. These are also super striking. Uh, these Balmorales came out beautiful in both this color, especially, and this is one of my other favorite ones. Just this contrast of this stamp material with a, with a smooth leather, and this one we did the cap toe as well, and the stamp leather. Really, really nice. And again, all of it is super, super soft. 
Uh, Rafael, my top three picks would be Bella and, and Rubino Suede, Spreads on Brogues, and Johnny and Whiskey. Yeah, I'd say that the uh, if you like the Spreads and Suede, let me bring those out. Uh, Rafael, I think they remember that day that Cody was talking a lot about burnished suede. So we were able to burnish the suede uh, both on this. The suede hole cut, which we did with a natural outsole, again, to keep it a little bit more casual. Yeah, unfortunately, with the flash and the suede, the burnishing just doesn't show, come across as well in the pictures. Um, I did notice that, actually. But on the camera, you can see that it is actually pretty, pretty nicely burnished. Um, and I'll pull out the gray... The gray actually here it doesn't show off as well, but here you go. You can see in this gray chuck as well the burnishing coming off on the toe as well on the heel. Yeah, so the yeah, the burnishing is really really nice, really nice. It's a nice touch. It actually makes it look a little bit like more worn in, a little bit more rugged. Uh, so it's a really nice touch. That was a great idea that Cody had. Uh, of burnishing our suede. That's that was all him. That was in mine. Graham Burgundy boots. Um, Clayton, I did not plan to make a gray suede yacht pour. Honestly, I was interested to see how you guys accepted the yacht pour boots just in general. Uh, but if you guys want a gray yacht pour, we could probably uh, we could probably swing that. So you know, as this campaign goes on, we're going to be doing our weekly happy hours. And we'll all talk about, you know, anything you guys want me to add, um, anything you think is missing from the collection, anything you think that uh, would look good on some of these shoes, or any changes that you think would uh, would benefit some of these shoes. So I want to make this factory access campaign particularly uh, interactive and organic, and and just kind of uh, make it almost like a living campaign where where I will discuss, uh, make some additions, make some changes, and we'll do it all as a group, just the way we designed this campaign, this uh, this collection. So we're going to keep the conversation ongoing. Um, how does the burnish suede appear on cameras? So, uh, yeah, exactly. So it does kind of look almost like a like a wax suede, uh, and we made these. These are water repellent as well. Um, I do not have any water next to me. So I don't want to ruin the shoes with what I do have, some soda water with lime in it. But, but yeah. So Ryan, you'd like the yacht pour in a lighter in the lighter suede? Yeah, I can see it actually in some of the pictures. Uh, actually, they came out a little overexposed, and but it still looked pretty good. So I was thinking the same thing, and I agree with you. A gray would probably look good in this as well. So let me change the camera angle a little bit. So we're on a, we're in agreement there. Yeah, so we'll we'll continue talking, Ryan, about that. If you wanted to see if you guys make sure, make sure, maybe more than one of you guys wanted to see some Graceway Yacht Pours, uh, we can probably add that. <laughs> I know that uh, Cody probably would like to see some uh, some gray some gray yacht pours. He's really into the gray suede's. But a couple other of my favorites is are what we did over here. With these Troys in the Brandon Eagle with a natural color outsole, these Chelsea boots look really, really nice in person. So over here, Ryan, the uh, this one over here, Ryan, why do you recognize this one? <laughs> This was actually one of the one of the samples that uh, one of the attempts in, <laughs> for your custom patina. Which, by the way, we still uh, I, I still owe you a phone call. We still need to talk a little bit about this. But yeah, this is this is one of yours. I don't know if you guys uh, knew, know, but we actually make custom patina shoes uh, for our customers. Ryan is one of our custom patina customers, and he had a Chelsea boot made for him. Uh, and this was one of the trials. So this is a, a pretty cool blue brushed. And actually on the final version that we made, uh, we ran it with purple along the edges. Uh, I do not have that one, but 
This is, I think, the first one that we sent you. Will rubber soles be available on the boots? Uh, actually, Jay, we did not make rubber soles available on the boots uh, like we do in our Hugo boots. But again, if that's something that you guys would like to, to see, um, please let us know which boots in particular. And it's something that's definitely possible to do. Um, again, if you guys would join our our um, if you guys would join our happy hours on Fridays, you know we can kind of collectively get together, decide what we wanted to add. And I know, you know, it's funny, Jay. We about back in 2018, actually, when we first uh, released a couple of, like for example, the Franco, uh, we made we gave the option of rubber outsoles or leather outsoles because a lot of people were asking, especially people that live in London, Portland. Uh, New York, obviously, in the winter gets a little bit a little bit wet and, and slippery. A lot of people ask us for rubber outsoles. So we give the option of either leather or rubber outsoles. But to be honest with you, the people that decided to actually buy the shoes in rubber outsoles was such a, such a small percentage um, that we really haven't offered too many rubber outsoles. Our Hugo boots come in rubber outsoles, but that's about, about it at the moment. But yeah, absolutely, in which particular boot would you like to see in, in rubber? Um, shows back. All right, Julian is going to be on that. Rafael on the 404 error that you're getting when you go to purchase uh, bags and wallets. Um, he's actually on the live stream right now. So Julian, if you can take a quick look at that, uh, they're saying they get 404 errors on the on the accessories page. Um, all right, perfect, Ryan. Once you know, let's get on a phone call. Let's just kind of review the last. Uh, the last version that I sent you, any questions that you have, I'd be happy to, to help you and answer them. And obviously we can finally get this, uh, get these shoes to you. Balmoral, which Balmoral do you like, Jay? Yeah, absolutely. We'll talk more about rubber outsoles. Actually, I'm gonna point out while you uh, figure that out, I'm gonna bring over a couple of my other, actually, I'm gonna bring over some of the ones that as we were designing, so these are a couple of shoes. If you were with us on that Friday, I think it was in May, on May 1st, um, where we we're designing this collection. Yeah, Adrian. And, and honestly, I, I wish you were there with us because we, we really designed this collection together with a lot of our customers over Zoom. Uh, and this was one of the shoes that we kind of decided uh, we we're just not sure how it would look in, in green and Diablo, but, uh, you know, it doesn't look half bad. It's pretty interesting. It's different. It actually looks kind of good together. I think, uh, Daniel up designed, uh, this shoe, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, this was pretty cool. And this was another one that we were not sure how it would look the green with the, with the, uh, with a coil suede on top, you know, pretty, pretty nice looking boot. Also happy we ended up making this. So it's kind of cool when we go through that process, you know, when you're kind of just trying to picture the stuff in your head and you're just kind of putting it down on paper and really just calling colors out. Um, you know, you do your best to draw it out and maybe create some uh, some Photoshop images later on. But there's it's nothing like the real thing. And really, when you when you open these boxes and you see the final sample, it's pretty interesting to, to see what comes out. And sometimes it's, it's very different than what you pictured in your head, but... It looks amazing nonetheless. And sometimes you have things that you kind of just throw together and you think it's not going to be that great, but they end up being great. Actually, the, uh, the Vela Blue shoes, uh, shoes like this. Uh, this color combination, the Vela Blue with a natural color outsole, it's something that you know we, we introduced last collection in our Theo Monk strap for the first time and I really don't know how it's gonna go and that ended up being our best selling shoe. Uh, really, really nice color combination. So we did it in a few more shoes now. We did it in our in our Troy Chelsea boots right over here. Uh, we did it in the whole cut, which I thought would be interesting to take a shoe that's considered such like a, a classic dressy shoe, like a whole cut and just make it in, and turn it into something more casual uh, by putting the brogy on here, almost like an Adelaide and then just this natural color outsole. It makes it, you know, it turns it from a shoe they'd wear only with a suit to a shoe that you could wear with jeans. So that's, I thought that was pretty kind of cool. Pretty cool. Um, 
Raphael, I'm really curious how will the green shoes will sell by end of campaign and we'll love to see how people style it. Yeah, absolutely. That's kind of one of the, the fun things uh, about, about these campaigns where we just make uh, these really bold and eccentric collections and just kind of seeing uh, what people end up liking. And it's really cool because it's not something that, you know, when you go to most shoe stores, you don't find shoes like these. And, you know, a black shoe or a brown shoe, I can kind of tell you how it's going to sell. It sells generally well. But when we start getting a little bit creative, uh, that's really when, you know, people get the chance to, to really express themselves with their footwear and, and, to, and to maybe take chances in their wardrobe and in their style that they otherwise wouldn't, wouldn't have if they didn't have uh, the opportunity, the options. And one of the reasons that we like doing this on factory access is we're able to keep the prices low. So uh, for me, it's a great creative outlet where we can create lots of different styles and colors and go a little bit crazy without taking on all this inventory risk. Uh, and then for our customers, you know, we pass along those savings of, of reduced costs on our end, the reduced risk on our end. And we price these, you know, almost like no brainers, you know, shoes, one ninety nine. You're not going to find Italian shoes of this quality anywhere for one ninety nine. boots around two fifty nine. Um, it's kind of unheard of and you guys get to take shots of in st in styles and colors and, and fill in your wardrobe uh, with things that are unique and bold and, and really exclusive limited editions that no one else is going to have. You're, you're definitely not going to walk into a party and see anyone else wearing this. So this is a, a pretty much a win-win all around these campaigns. So that's why we, we do them every year and that's why we love them. Brandon Eco. Uh, you want to see the brand and equal bell morales. Yes, those are, are really nice as well. So this, I mean, this is something you can wear with a suit. Uh, but it's also, again, a color you can wear with jeans. This is really a, like a beautiful classic shoe. And again, it's it's got that softness that we're trying to include in all of our shoes now. So there's nothing stiff about this. You're not going to pull these out of the box after you buy them and, and regret buying them and wear them for three, four months around your house and have a foot full of blisters before you can actually uh, enjoy them. Uh, these are going to be nice and comfortable for you right out of the box. Here's another wall here. Uh, Bella. And, and Ra actually, Raphael, one thing I wanted to say also about seeing how well the greens are going to end by the, sell by the end of the campaign. Uh, during our Friday happy hours, like we did last year, you know, I'm happy to, to continue giving updates on what's selling, what people are liking. So, you know, we're going to con continue uh, that tradition that we started uh, during in the depths of quarantine of earlier this year. Yeah, the Vela Blue with with that natural color outsole definitely looks very well balanced. And actually, because I liked how well balanced it looked on this. Um, Again, th this credit really, I'm going to credit all of our green shoes uh, to Daniel Up, a.k.a. Wally Daniel, uh, a.k.a. Timbers Navy. Uh, and so I tried, I tried this, Ryan. Actually, we all tried this. I shouldn't say I tried this. Uh, you know, we did this. We decided to put this green equal on a, on a natural color outsole. I think it looks great as well. Again, it's a shoe that would naturally, would usually be a little bit dressier, a whole cut, but this natural outsole, this color, something you can wear casually as well. And then again, in the Diablo, right? Actually, we call this Rubino now because it's a lighter Diablo. But in the Rubino and Equal, also the natural outsole just kind of takes it up a notch and and makes it a little bit more casual. But you don't you don't have to wait for a special event to wear these anymore. You can wear these every single day. The green and beige. The uh, this one, Adrian. Balmoral, thank you. Yeah, these are awesome. And I know Adrian, you have that bolder style, so I think this is something that's definitely right up your alley. So, if you can, definitely try to pick these up. Although I'm sure your your shoe collection by now, and now Adrian, must be kind of out of control. Uh, Ryan, is there a Chelsea in Diablo Rubino? Um, this time we did not make one, but I feel like we have made a Chelsea in in uh, Diablo Rubino. In, uh, Rubino. Um, I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure. We've made so many shoes at this point, I can't keep track of all of them. Uh, Raphael, teal shoes. Yeah, you know, we, um, it was with a custom patina 
I'll show you guys. You know, what actually what Ryan, so it's not really teal, but it's definitely a pretty cool shade of blue that we did uh, this custom patina. Um, but our custom patina guy just recently, recently started making uh, some really interesting Diablo type colors, like using red tones and blue tones. Um, he actually made a personal a sneaker for me, a Maximo sneaker. And a really interesting red with some beige and a, and a hyena tattoo on it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys during the happy hour exactly what that is. He also made last weekend, we sent this into the NBA bubble for Kendrick Nunn of the Miami Heat. We made a, a ridiculous a Duke sneaker with, with black light reactive, with a black light reactive tattoo. Actually, it's got... It's, an, it's really cool colors, and then like it's got this tattoo of a snake on it. Where under a black light, at first it just looks like a snake. Under a black light, like the eyes and the fangs start shining, and then it reveals like the number twenty-five, which is the number. Really, really awesome. I'll show you guys pictures of that uh, also during our happy hour. Uh, just remind me to show you. That was that was really awesome. We sent that over to Kendrick Nunn earlier this week. Um, unfortunately, they lost last night, so he's not probably not too happy, but amazing. Um, yeah, actually, Julian, I feel like the Jodhpur is very similar to Chelsea. So, yeah, so we do have the, the Jodhpur boots in, in Rubino. It's not, it's not exactly a, a Chelsea, but it's also a boot that can be a little bit more casual, and it's got this nice uh, gray, this nice gray strap on it. So this is a nice, this is a nice Jodhpur boot. And again, we uh we went a little bit crazy, right? Who would have thought of this? A green yard port with with a uh, with a red strap. It's uh it's kind of perfect for Christmas as well. <laughs> it's a pretty festive shoe. But yeah, this is a, a Wally Daniel Daniel up a Daniel up style that he designed. Anything green was pretty Daniel. It was pretty much Daniel. And this is a this is actually a Cody McDowell. Uh, he was really into the blue with the gray, and this came out really nice as well. We have, we have some pictures of our model in our gallery in these as well. Uh, really really nice combination. Put this back. And what we brought back. We brought, brought back a lot of also is this bourbon color. It's also a pretty unique color that we started applying to a lot of our shoes. And we did the same thing this year. We brought it back on our James. We did a Gianni loafer on it. Um, I think we did a Troy on it as well. I don't know if you can see it. The Chelsea boot. Over here. I got a question for you guys. My question to you is this. This is an Oxford. You put this in black, all black. It's a very classic Oxford. You don't look at it twice. It's a beautiful shoe, classic. You know what to do with a black one. When you put this dark gray, this blue, and this Diablo on top, three colors, do you guys know how to style this? What do you guys think of it? find something it's a little bit too much too many colors or is it something that uh that you think that you can kind of put together with a pretty unique outfit a little bit a little bit of sprezzatura let me know what you guys think we'll talk about this a little bit more also uh during the happy hour tomorrow or maybe next week but i have my thoughts and opinions on this and we'll share it So there's another, another example back there of a shoe that, frankly, when we put it together, I wasn't so sure. Uh, when I pulled it out of the box and I saw it, I wasn't so sure. But once we styled it and put it on our model and we started uh, taking pictures of it, 
it really started growing on me and the color combination, which at first I thought was a little bit too much. Um, it started making a lot more sense to me. And I'm going to pull it, pull it forward right now. We, we did this in a monk strap and we also did it in our Franco, uh, which is essentially like a, a French claw brogued Oxford. And that color combination is this. So this, you know, when we put it down on paper, we did this one again all together. I didn't know what to think of it. I was uncertain what it's going to look like when I pulled it out of the box. You know, I was like, you know, maybe a little bit too much, too much contrast between the colors. But let me tell you, uh, I don't remember we put a, a picture of this shoe in the gallery with, with one of our models in it. But it looks incredible. It's, you know, it's something that by itself, it looks super bold and different. But when you put it on, again, also, we put it on with a pair of jeans, if I'm not mistaken, I think black jeans. It looked really, really nice. It looked you know, unique enough to stand out and be bold and, and attract compliments. Uh, but also, it wasn't like crazy as if you're wearing uh, something just completely out of this world. It, it blended in really, really nice uh, with a nice, I think we put this on with a pair of jeans and a, you know, like a nice jacket. Really, really nice shoe. And same thing, uh, we did it with a monk strap. Also, all these on a natural outsole. Again, we're really looking to to be able to wear these shoes um, in a variety of situations, more casual. You can also still dress them up for some situations. Uh, we really want to add a lot of versatility to these shoes and not just make them straight up dress shoes. So you'll see a lot of naturals, natural outsoles from us here. Thanks, Adrian. I, I appreciate that you like the, uh, the, the, uh, the Diablo. In which particular shoe was it? And Raphael? Yeah, I agree with you. But you know what's interesting about those tricolor shoes, uh, which, you know, that's what kind of has me on the fence about them. Let me pull them back over here. So, on the one hand, yeah, it's it's a three-color shoe. But, you know, when you're wearing this, let's say you got a pair of pants, you know, you got the cuff right around here. So, it covers up most of this red. So, then it really becomes, you know, it is still a darker shoe. I don't know if it's something that would stand out too much. I mean, you definitely have to keep the, uh, the outfit pretty simple. Uh, and this should be your talking piece. But, you know, I'm probably going to put these on. These are my size. Um, I'm pro I'll probably put these on during one of the happy hours and just kind of see if I can put something together to make this work. But I kind of like it. It's kind of a... Uh, I don't know. I think we did these in, in the loop, this color combination, a few years back in 2017. Uh, and we actually, one of the best pictures, one of, actually at least one of my favorite pictures that we ever took uh, was in a tricolor shoe in these three colors. So I'm curious to see what you guys would do with something like this. But we'll talk about it more again in the happy hours. Clayton, thank you so much for, for coming around and showing up. I appreciate it. So is there anything, uh, any other shoe that you guys want to see up close? Uh, so you guys know, we're going to try to keep this at about an hour. So probably about another 15 minutes or so. Uh, I'll be on here answering your questions. If there's anything else you want me to show you, get a close up. Um, just let me know and I'll bring it up. If not, I'm going to keep on pulling uh, kind of what I like from this collection. So we talk, talked a little bit about this, this combination and what that looks like. Really nice. So... Actually, you know what? I want to talk about, for one second, the shoes that I have on my feet right now. So it, they probably need a little bit of polish, but I don't know if you guys recognize what these are. <laughs> um, let me pull the other one up and we can get a good angle here. So these are our, these are our Henry Cognac Tremonta Patinas. And if you guys were a part of our 2018 campaign, you kind of know the backstory of Tremonta Patina. Tremonta Patina is something that we worked on for a while. Um, and we made a really nice video about it, explaining uh, what it kind of means to me and, and the 
and the work that it takes to create these Shamanta patinas. So it's a really beautiful patina that, that actually, let me see if I have a, a sample that I'm going to take off my feet. I don't, I don't have one handy other than, one, than the ones on my feet. And I don't want to bore you guys watching me take my shoes off, but our Shamanta patina is something we haven't had available since 2018. Uh, we only made them available uh, during our 2018 Kickstarter campaign two years ago. Uh, we put a couple of Tremonta Patina shoes on our website, I think in Carlo and possibly in a Kurt, uh, but we really rarely stock it. It's not something that we uh, hold a lot of inventory in, uh, but Henry's we haven't had available. We had a Beto Tremonta Patina that hasn't been available. We had a Luca Tremonta Patina that hasn't been available in two years. Uh, so this morning we kind of decided last second that we should make it available for this campaign. It's been two years since we've made these shoes widely available. Um, and we probably will make them like, available again for at least a couple of years. Uh, we should have the video posted of what Tremonta Patina is, how it's made, uh, what it means, uh, what's special about them. Uh, if we don't have it up yet, we're going to be linking on the craft.acemarks.com website uh, to that video. I know that video is up on YouTube. But again, if you guys missed uh, buying a Tremonta Patina back in 2018, uh, this is another chance uh, to get those. Uh, we probably won't make them available again for another couple of years, if at all. Uh, I'm not sure. Even the opportunity to buy them during this campaign was really just on a whim. Uh, I just kind of realized it's something that we haven't made available in a long time. And that it was probably time uh, for those of you that missed it the first time around to have an opportunity to, to get to get in on those Tremonta Patina. So you'll see a whole section of Tremonta Patina. We know we explain a little bit about what it is on craft.acemarks.com. So I'm kind of excited to, to make those available again. And like I said, these are, you know, these Tremonta Patinas are, are probably my go-to uh, Ace Mark shoes. I wear them with jeans and a polo shirt. I also wear them with uh, with suits and and uh, and a blazer. So I'm sorry, with jackets and <laughs> with, with pants and a blazer. So it's a really versatile shoe. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, I'd say this and my Vincent's in brown and blue are my go-to uh, Ace Mark stress shoes. Uh, I like to keep it classic, although I just bought a ton of shoes from this last Factory Access campaign. I haven't even opened yet. I think I bought like 15 pairs. But uh, my wife is going to kick me out of the house because of it, because she doesn't have any more closet space. But that's a whole other story, and we can talk about that tomorrow as well. Uh, let me get back to your comments. Um, yeah, Adrian, we were supposed to launch today at one o'clock, but again, uh, we added some things and fine tuned some things. So, so I apologize for the delay there. Um, the Balmar Diablo boots and Diablo Oxford's cabbage. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Oliver. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you liked it. Uh, if you want to see them close up, I'm happy to bring them up for you as well. Um, Adrian, thank you for reposting. Um, please continue reposting anything that you see from us. Always appreciate it. Yeah, actually, you know, I, I used to have a velvet jacket back in the day. Um, it was actually a Dolce Gabbana dark blue velvet jacket, believe it or not. I used to like uh, eccentric things uh, in my early 20s. Now I just kind of wear uh, black polo shirts and jeans for the most part. But uh, one of the Jesse sneakers, I have not shown that, Ben. And I'll be honest with you, I did not have the sneakers prepared here. Um, but I'll probably pull those again if you want to see them. Uh, let me see if I have a Jesse sneaker hiding. Yeah, so here we go. So this is one of the Jesse sneakers that we have on there. We have this one and the gray with orange. And the Jesse sneakers actual style that we made available for the first time, actually an only time, I think it was in our factory access campaign last year, early 2019. And I actually own both of them. I own this one and also the, the gray with orange. And I frankly love them. Um, I just kind of love this, this camo on it. I'm not a camo guy. I don't usually wear camo anything. It's my only piece article of clothing or footwear with camo on it, but I kind of love it and I wear these as much as I can. And same thing with the, the gray and the orange, which is why I brought them back. Um,
just because I personally like them a lot and I wanted to make them available to you guys as well. Uh, I think they may have been overlooked by a lot of you, although they were our two best-selling Jessies. We frankly didn't sell too many Jessies last year, but uh, they're pretty awesome and I highly recommend them. Again, I personally have both of the ones that we put on there, which is the reason that I put them on there because I, I personally like them that much. Um, guessing the... No, actually, the Cordovan shoes, um, yes, they're, they're not going to be in this factory access campaign. We're going to, we are going to be releasing Cordovan shoes, and we're going to be releasing a few other exotic uh, leather material shoes, and we're going to do it all together. So, so Raphael, don't worry about it. Cordovans are coming. Actually, you know, just yesterday, let's see if I still have it here. I was, I was reviewing. So we're working with Rocado for our Cordovan leather. And actually, this is one of the Cordovan samples. Um, but yeah, as you can see some of my notes over here on the Cordovan. But yeah, we're definitely going to be releasing Cordovan as well as some other exotics. Uh, and actually, we're working... Uh, we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit more at a later date, but we're working with someone to uh, to get a lot of exotics out there. So, yeah, uh, we didn't forget about that. Don't worry. Uh, Harry, I'm sorry, Oliver, Balmoral and Diablo, which I think I pulled it right over here. Is this the one that you bought? Really, really nice Balmoral. And then the Diablo Oxfords. Oh, and I don't know if you were here, Oliver, when I showed it, but again, super, super soft. So these out of the box are not going to be stiff. They're going to be super comfortable. It smells like leather. Uh, really, really nice. You're going to enjoy these a lot. I'll probably be getting a pair of these as well. It'll be my first Balmoral boots. And are these the, the Diablo Oxfords that you got, Oliver? Oh, hold on. Oh, you got the all red. Yeah, so the, these are beautiful. These are pretty awesome. These are Luca. Also, these are surprisingly versatile. Anything that you, uh, any obviously anything that's black, you can wear these with. Uh, anything that's gray, you can wear these with, with. But these look particularly amazing with anything that's black. Are these the ones you got? Also, if you like soft, I mean, this and this leather, I'm sorry, this suede over here is just a super, super soft suede. This is going to feel like you're wearing pretty much nothing. Really, really nice Balmorales. And these, I don't remember who, uh, who had this, who, which one of our customers had designed this one. Um, if you're here, just let me know. But I remember someone specifically wanted it all red. I want to say Cody. Was it you, Raphael? So there you go. You, you, you're the one that made both our res, right? It was It was this one and then also the Lorenzo. Yeah, we also made the Lorenzo for you, Raphael. So actually, yeah, uh, the, the, the designer of both of these shoes is in the chat right now. Rafael Mendez over there. You can thank him for this one and for this one as well, if I remember correctly. Oh, <laughs> I'll give you credit for a second then. This one, this one is for Rafael then. The, the Lorenzo, I don't remember who it was. But again, Rafael, an example of, uh, again, our customers were the ones that designed this. So thank you, Rafael. I appreciate it. Came out really nice. And Oliver, yes, I, I got it. I'm sorry. It was this one that you bought. Still a great choice. Actually, I'm, I'm definitely getting these. I don't know if I can rock the all red ones. The Arancho and Bourbon Chelsea's. Yes. Ryan, something tells me you're into Chelsea boots. So the Arancha Chelsea's, actually, the sample didn't come burnished enough, but in production, this is going to be much darker. 
uh, just like you see it over here on these chukas. Again, I really like this Arancho color a lot, which is why we started using it more in this collection. I think we made one or two shoes last uh, last factory access in them, but doing a lot more variety in them now. And then the bourbon. I mean, the bourbon has become almost like a like a signature color for us. Uh, you know, pretty much any shoe that we make in bourbon uh, gets snatched up pretty quick. So, um, you know, we've been trying to make some more available. You know, we do a lot of things in, in limited capacity, limited edition, small batches, mostly in these factory access campaigns, uh, which is where we kind of go with uh, with more eccentric colors and make them more widely available across our collection. So this is the bourbon. Adrian, I have a pair of those monk straps in blue. Which ones? Which monk straps in blue, Adrian? I got I got a few back here. I'm trying to see what you can see. Those over there. Ryan, remember seeing a black with black suede Balmoral summer? I think a gray calf with a gray black suede. Would be yeah, actually, Ryan, we had a Hugo boot um, last year, and it was in black with gray suede. Yeah, we definitely had that. I feel like that sample's around here somewhat, somewhere. It's not, but... So what you're thinking about, Ryan, is we had this shoe, this Hugo, we had it black with gray suede like this. This is what you uh, what you're thinking of. Oliver, you're a bouncer in Denmark. Two person. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, I I, uh, I like to call these compliment magnets, um, and as most of you guys know, they they tend to be that. You know, these shoes, these shoes definitely stand out. Excuse me. These shoes definitely stand out when you, when you wear them. Um, you're definitely going to get noticed. Um, if you don't like compliments, you probably should not buy Ace Mark shoes. Uh, those come by the dozen when you wear them. Um, absolutely, they're, they're, they're shoes that people notice. They stand out. Uh, they're a little bit shiny. Um, you know, I, I've seen a lot of comments in different forums posted that our shoes look too shiny, almost plasticky, uh, and it keeps people away. You know. It's unfortunate because, you know, you guys obviously know that these are capskin leather shoes. They're not plastic shoes. But because of the reflection of the flashes and because we do finish these with a wax polish before they leave the factory, uh, it's very reflective. So I have a light actually coming right over here. And you can see kind of like the reflection on the light. When you shine a flash on them, it's 10 times worse. So unfor unfortunately, it gives... It gives the uh, shoes a little bit of a of a shiny appearance, almost like a plastic appearance. But you know, if you guys haven't bought one of our shoes before, there's plenty of guys here in the chat that can tell you that there's absolutely nothing plastic about them. Uh, they're all full grain calfskin leather uppers, full grain calfskin leather lining. I'm sure I shouldn't say full grain calfskin leather lining, but it is calfskin leather lining, uh, leather outsoles, unless we have rubber outsoles on some styles. But uh, really, really nice. And over the last uh, year or so, we've really been transitioning to using this much softer calfskin leather uh, that we also started using first on our sneakers. Um, so we really, we've really advanced a lot in the materials that we're using since we started. A lot of our shoes early on were a little bit stiffer. Um, and those of you guys that have started buying our shoes uh, that started back in 2016 and have continued to buy through the years that may have noticed that our shoes have become a little bit more soft, a little bit softer, a little bit more flexible. So we've, we've made some, some changes. Uh, thank you, Oliver. I'm glad that you like them. And, and yeah, these, this, you should, if you ordered now from this campaign, which you obviously did, it's our only Balmoral boots. Uh, you're going to be seeing these in, in January, I'd say hopefully December, but most likely, I'm sorry. Hope possibly February, but mo most likely January, I should say. Uh, Adrian, please don't text and drive. Uh, definitely our shoes are, are beautiful, but definitely not worth it. 
Uh, Oliver, I hope to have them by your birthday. But I can promise, although if you're in Denmark, we're going to be shipping these out of Europe. And as you know, for this last campaign, uh, we shipped to Europe uh, in late July. So you may be able to get it. You'll definitely be one of the first to get it in Europe. Unfortunately, our transportation, our boat from from Europe to Miami was a, was a whole other set of disaster. But we'll talk about that also in the live stream if you guys want. Sorry, in the happy hour tomorrow, if you guys want to talk about it a little bit more. We'll kind of go through what happened behind the scenes over the last couple of months with that with that shipment. A very frustrating experience, to say the least. 30th birthday? Man, I just celebrated my 40th. How does it feel to celebrate your 30th in kind of like this uh, this new world right now? It's a little bit strange, I think. I mean, probably not what you expected. You know, 30th, 40th, 50th, those are all big birthdays, big milestones. And the way that we've all envisioned them is a little bit different than what we, we've experienced, but got to make the best of it. Got to make the best of it. So we're actually running up here on the hour. If you guys have uh, some other questions, I'm happy to answer them. Otherwise, I kind of want to try to keep this uh, palatable so people can watch it on a replay. And it doesn't take too long. I think an hour is a, a good amount of time. If you guys have any other questions, again, we're going to be sending out an email tomorrow, probably morning or early afternoon. Uh, with a link to join us for our Zoom happy hour tomorrow. It's going to happen tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll probably be on for a couple hours like we have been in the past. Uh, and there are any questions that may come up after you've, you've had a chance to review the collection, uh, anything you want to talk about personally, you know, I'm there, uh, Julian will be there. Um, you know, we just generally have a good time. We, we each have a drink. He has no I drink tequila during these, uh, during these events. But... But yeah, uh, please come join us tomorrow at 5. Again, the link's going to come out tomorrow. It'll be a Zoom happy hour, virtual happy hour, obviously socially distanced. Um, and, you know, just bring a drink, uh, bring a good attitude and have some fun. And, and we'll, uh, we'll discuss shoes. We'll talk about just about anything that you guys want to talk about. Yeah, uh, Rafael, you know, whatever time you can join us, uh, please, uh, please do. You know, it's always open. Thanks, Adrian. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, if there's no other questions, I'm going to be signing off now. And again, we'll have another chance to talk and get together tomorrow at 5 o'clock Eastern time. And we'll be on there for two hours, 5 to 7. And sometimes it goes over, so who knows. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the new collection. Again, it was designed by you guys, by our customers. Uh, we did it all together. Uh, it's a pretty special collection for me, for all of us and just enjoy it and if there's any questions again please feel free to ask you can always email us info at acemarks.com uh you guys probably have gotten to know philly by now she's pretty good at answering all of your questions and yeah and thanks a lot let me know what you guys think send us comments emails we have a discussion board as well um we'll talk tomorrow thanks <laughs>